Hi, welcome back to Devotions from History. On April 19th of 1775, the battles of Lexington and Concord became the first military engagements in what would later be known as the American Revolutionary War. Some 60 years later, Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote the Concord Hymn, and he referred to these events as the shot heard round the world. Well, it's very possible that little Ralph Waldo Emerson growing up heard these stories from his grandfather, who was there when it happened. His grandfather was William Emerson. He was a minister in an Anglican church in Concord, Massachusetts, when all of this talk of revolution began. Now, Reverend Emerson took this very seriously. There was a lot of power in the pulpit, especially in those days, and he knew that whatever he said in his pulpit would either encourage or discourage this call to revolution and armed resistance. And he knew that it was a serious, serious matter. It would cost a lot of people some very dear things if all of this revolutionary talk was carried out. He went to his knees and he went to his Bible and he spent much time in prayer and study. And after that, he came down firmly on the side of armed resistance. And this country preacher was there with those Minutemen ready to turn back the British troops at Concord when they met them at the Old North Bridge and turned them back. What a moment that must have been for those Minutemen. And in reality, during the entire Revolutionary War, it was the encouragement and inspiration of many of the ministers of the colonies that kept the fighters encouraged that what they were doing had the backing of scripture and prayer. Now, here's a point that we all need to learn along with Reverend Emerson. Talk of resistance, talk of revolution is a serious thing and it must never be made lightly. It should be made always through much study and much prayer. And here is another lesson that we, especially in leadership, need to learn. Our words, our pulpit, if you will, will either encourage or discourage people to action. And we must always guard and be vigilant with the things that we encourage or discourage because history is going to be made by the people who listen to your words and what you encourage them to do and what you discourage them to do. So take a lesson from Reverend Emerson and before you start talking about a whole lot of action, be sure you've spent some good time in prayer and study. We'll see you tomorrow on Devotions from History.